Hello everyone, so we are taking a look at the Charya Tone OTS Lunchbox. So it is a 20 watt mini head. If you haven't checked out our other video, I'm going to leave a link here you can click. So what we did in the first part was to just run through all the knobs on the amp to give an idea of the sweep of each knob to see what kind of tonal difference it makes. So you can check that out if you just want to watch us playing through it without talking at all and just listen to what each knob does. The goal of today's video is to show you guys how to properly dial in this amp. There are online sites and video demos that describe the amp as a dual channel, a clean and a overdrive channel. When technically it's not really the case, it's not a multi-channel amp, it is more like a multiple gain stage amp. So if you take a look at the signal chain of the amp, I got this from the manual for the Chiratone lunchbox head. So you can check out the signal path what goes into what but i'm going to simplify my explanation here so if you're familiar with gain stacking meaning stacking three different overdrive pedals picture this the volume knob is the first overdrive pedal the od trim which is a knob at the back of the amp is the second overdrive pedal and then the level knob is the third overdrive pedal so if you're familiar with stacking your overdrives you know that increasing the volume for the first od will increase the saturation of the amp, meaning it will increase in gain. And increasing the drive towards the end of the gain stage, it will increase the volume and the bottom end instead. So again, in summary, the volume knob is the first OD, the OD trim is the second OD, and the level knob is the final overdrive pedal in your circuit. Plugging in the foot switch will not activate channel 1 and channel 2. When the foot switch is disengaged, you only get the first OD stage, meaning only your first overdrive pedal is turned on. So in conjunction with this amp, it means only the volume knob is working in terms of the gain stage and the OD trim and the level knob will not affect the amp at all. So that's how you're controlling your clean channel. Now if you hit the foot switch to so-called change the channel, what the amp is actually doing is activating the second overdrive and third overdrive gain stage. So meaning you're turning on your second overdrive pedal and your third overdrive pedal which in conjunction with this amp means you're turning on the OD trim at the back and the level knob on the front. Most of the videos that I've seen online, the way they have this amp dialed in is they have a low volume on the first gain stage. So they would want to get all the sparkly clean tones from that. And then they tend to increase the gain towards the later stages. So maybe the OD trim is around 12 o'clock, for example, and the level is maybe at three o'clock or more. Now the tones you get from that are really great for blues, rock, things like that. It's going to be a big and round tone for lead playing. But I'm here to fix the issue of people saying that this amp can't saturate enough, meaning it can't get gainy enough. Now I'm going to present you a few clips. The first part here is we're just going to look at the first stage overdrive. So we have no switches on on the foot switch, meaning OD2 and 3 are deactivated. OD1 is on and we're going to take a look at how it sounds when the volume is at 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock and at 3 o'clock. And I'm going to do that for two modes. I'm going to do that for the rock mode and the jazz mode. So you can hear the difference. Now, if you could hear the difference there, what the volume knob was doing was not just increasing the volume, but you could hear it changing how hot the input signal is. And the more you increase the volume knob, you realize that the sound gets bigger and more hotter and more boomier. Now, let's look at another clip where I've engaged the second and third stage overdrives. So the OD trim and the level knob are affecting the overall gain of the amp. Mm -hmm. 
that you realize that the volume knob when dimed gives you the most saturation this again leads back to the point of gain stacking if you want more gain you got to make sure your first stage overdrives are at full volume followed by the second and then the third you're not going to get much drive from diming the third stage overdrive now what the OD trim does here is in lower settings it tends to give you a bit more of a transparent tone so you can still hear the clarity of your strings or your clean tone coming through and the higher you crank the OD trim the more harmonic content you gain from your overall uh, drive tone if you would like a big round fat and defined lead tone you can back off the OD trim if you're playing rhythm and you want those martial-esque kind of uh, upper harmonics in your chords and things like that you gotta crank the OD trim all the way up now what is the ratio knob again if you read the manual, it says that the ratio knob is kind of a volume for the drive section. What it really means is it is controlling literally the ratio between the first OD stage and the second and third OD stage. So if you have your input volume set at a certain point and your master to a certain point, what the ratio knob does is it just balances out the first stage together with the second and third stage overdrive of the amp. So if you're using this amp purely for the distortion tones, It'd be ideal for the ratio knob to be turned all the way up because you'd want the stage 2 and stage 3 overdrives to be completely open in the circuit. Another interesting toggle switch here is the rock and jazz toggle switch. So it doesn't literally mean um, rock is for rock and jazz is for jazz. When the toggle switch is left in the rock position, it's a bit more of a big, boomy, fat tone. Now if you start playing um, more metal style rhythms, You'd want the bottom end to be less saggy and a bit more tight. So flicking the switch over to the jazz mode will actually tighten everything up. Finally, there's actually a preamp boost which is only activated via the foot switch. And in the signal chain, where the preamp boost is, is basically before the first stage OD. Now if your tone is fully saturated, the preamp boost only gives you a bit more fatter sounding tone. If you use a less saturated tone, the preamp boost will actually boost the volume slightly and increase the fatness of the overall tone. <laughs> In summary if you want a more saturated tone you want to dime the first gain stage which in this case is the volume knob if you want more harmonic content you should dime the OD trim if you'd like a bit more string clarity then you back off the OD trim if you want 
more overall gain just time the level at the end if you're using the amp purely for the distorted tones make sure you have the ratio cranked and finally if you like a tighter bottom end flick the toggle switch to the jazz position if you like a bit more sag and roundness to the tone you can flick it to rock position if you need more mids just punch in the mid boost toggle switch if you need the tone to be fatter and slightly louder hit in the preamp boost so there you go that's how simple it is to dial in this amp So the key thing here is if you own this amp is to take your time to really dial in these tones because personally I've dealt with this amp for days and there's just so many tones you can get out of this one single hit which is pretty amazing. You can get all the Fender-esque clean tones to you know really pretty high saturated Marshall-esque tones. That's it so if you like the video please give us a like subscribe to the channel for more content and check out musicblitz.com.my for pricing info or pop us a message or give us a call by visiting our Facebook page. Hope this video helped. Thank you very much. See you real soon. Mm -hmm.